Wyoming has long been the focus of snow fence research and design. Today, the state boasts more than 450 miles of snow fence. Angled, vertical, or even planted and grown, these structures act as a windbreak and capture blowing snow before it reaches the road, improving visibility and preventing roadway drifting and icing. If we can keep most of that off the road, then we can keep that snow pack down. It's easier for our crews to get off the road and it keeps the road safer and um, keeps, keeps our friction values up. This winter has been especially bad for blowing snow. In some areas without existing snow fence, YDOT has been constructing snow traps. What you're doing is you're creating two ridges of snow. And as that snow blows over those ridges, it'll drop into that, that trench you just made. It's something that's helping us make it through that week. You know, ideally we'd like to have something more permanent in place. YDOT continues to add new snow fence in problem areas as a proven low cost technique to reduce crashes and prevent road closures. It's almost a 10 to 1 cost savings to, from um, storing snow behind a snow fence versus trying to plow it off the road. And they're pretty effective. There's a lot of snow being held back by those fences. Remember, if there's ice and snow, take it slow and always buckle up. This is Doug McGee reporting.